Leighton Hewitt. Leighton, nice to have you here. Thanks, mate. Um, just talk us through the year, because a couple of couple of matches this year in my commentary really stand out of every matches I've, I've ever done. And one of them was the final in Brisbane, where you won that tournament take on Roger. Roger, after this weekend winning the Davis Cups, had a pretty important role in your career, hasn't he? Well, yeah, if he wasn't around, I might have won a couple more slams. So, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, No, uh, yeah, obviously it was a fantastic start to the year. I had a really good, tough pre-season leading into 2014 and, uh, you know, really started with a bang. Um, played exceptional tennis, got better as the week went on and uh, it was some of the hottest conditions that I've ever played in the semi and the final there against Nishikori and Federer. Um, and, you know, to beat Roger any time's nice, but especially in your home country in a tournament that I'd never won before in a final... Um, really meant a lot. What about the, the fella that gave you the trophy that yeah, week? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, you know, it was uh, tennis royalty out there and I was fortunate enough to get the trophy off uh, Rocket Rod Laver. Um, so just to stand there, it was something that I'll always cherish, uh, obviously standing alongside Roger Federer and Rod Laver. Well, we saw the, the piece about the purple and the trends of the Kyrgios uh, tonight, in particular Nick. And yeah, it's... You, um, yeah, I wouldn't have worn that, that's for sure, when no, I was younger. No, but And you, I, I wouldn't have had those things in my head either. No, but we've actually, you know, that you talk about that. That's a good segue because you, you, you have set trends. We want to know... Uh, uh, there was What's actually, this going to be? Well, there was a tweet that's come in a little earlier. It says, look here, your hair's too short. When you'll be bringing back the luscious locks... It's a worry that it's from Mick, Have that's a look all. at that. <laughs> have a look at that. Yeah, it would have been better if it was from a lady. It was from Mick, so I'm a bit worried about that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I have the time to keep growing it that long. Yeah, maybe not. But because you're a dad and um, the kids are doing great, it looks like the girls are following in Beck's you know, <laughs> steps of drama and dance and song. Uh, but at Wimbledon this year, we got some great pictures of crews. Um, following around the tennis court, he looks like he's going to be a player. Now, are you his coach or you, you're palming that off to somebody else? Um, yeah, it's a awkward one. He still says I'm his coach, but he says Rochi is as well. Um, <laughs> and Peter Luchak, one of my coaches, is already putting his hand up. But, uh, you know, Cruz loves it, which is fantastic for me. Um, and it's good that I'm still able to go out there and compete against these guys. And he gets to come on the court and see what Dad does out there. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's funny because he just goes up to Roger Federer like he's any tennis player and ask him for a hit, he doesn't realise how great it is and an opportunity to be on the same court as Roger Federer. So, um, yeah, it's pretty special the last few years. Well, the way you're going, um, he'll be getting into tournaments and you'll still be playing <laughs> against him. Yeah, maybe we can play doubles together. So. Ladies and gentlemen, Leighton Hewitt. Thank you.